Hi guys, thanks for joining us again today for another art activity. We hope you're enjoying them. Do make sure you subscribe to the channel because we've got lots more coming up and we don't want you to miss out. So today we're going to have a little go at doing this friendly little bee. Um, we're going to be drawing it and then painting it. You can use paints. If you don't have paints, then you can use your felt tips or pencil crayons, whichever you have. So don't worry. Right, if you've got everything ready, we will make a start. Right, so we're going to uh, start by drawing his head. So I would do very light lines, little sketchy lines. I want to do a continuous line. And we'll just do little light sketchy lines until you get it right and you're happy with it. So it's almost like a, a circle, but we're not going to complete that circle. So we'll leave a little gap at the bottom. When you're happy with it, then you can work over the top and make it darker. Okay, so a nice big circle. Leave a big gap because now we're going to do his body, so his abdomen. So we've got three sections. We're going to make him quite fat, a nice big fat B. So nice big round abdomen, and then we're going to do his thorax. So make this even bigger. So we're going to come out bigger. Make him fatter. I'm going to work down and then round. Okay, so we've got that middle section. So it's not a lot of drawing today, guys. Just okay. So once we've done that, we're going to pop his wings in. So his wings are growing out of this middle section here. We're going to draw a little line. It comes from the actual body, that bit there. I'm going to take it out quite away, make them nice and big, curve them round. I'm going to bring it out from here to join it up. So I'm making it slightly wibbly wobbly, not perfect. So we're going to do the same on the other side. We'll try and get these equal if we can. So a little line and then Again, coming out from his body, out, and they're roughly equal. It'd be slightly different in shape. I think that looks quite nice. And then the bottom wing is slightly smaller, so it's just slightly in a little bit. So it's out, and it's slightly narrower. So curve it round. The same, I decided that I want it to finish there, so I'm going to put my pencil there and then bring this out and then round. And then just step back and check that you're happy with how big the wings are and that they're roughly the same size. So we've got the wings coming out first of all and then we'll do his legs. So he's got six legs. I'm gonna just do these top ones first. So we're gonna do a little line. I'm gonna bring it up and then curve about sort of level with the head or just past and then curve it over and then the same on the other side this one I'm going to go up and then maybe curve it over a little bit um, and then I'm going to double that up so another little line underneath it just to double it up okay so follow the top line and do little eyes so all these eyes we're going to keep it nice and simple two little like mounds just on the top of his head like this okay and then we'll do his legs off his bottom section here so again coming out and i'm sort of taking them roughly with the level of his wing and just doing the top line first of all and then the bottom line, I'm going to just curve it a little bit. So we've got these curves. And same on this side. Curve like that. So we're just sort of segmenting it a little bit. And then these legs are curving downwards. So I'm just going to do the top line, just check that I'm happy with them. Almost makes like a little rainbow shape, doesn't it? And then we're just going to the bottom line. I'm just segmenting it again. So a little 
curved line like that. So that's the basic outline of our lovely B. We're going to just map in his um, stripes now. So this section here, I'm going to continue this curve round like this and this is going to help give it a little bit of form and I'm going to continue the curve rounds at the bottom there. This will help with our stripes. I'm going to put a little wiggly line across and then a little wiggly line at the bottom like that. And then underneath this curve I'm going to do a little wiggly line there and then we're going to do another stripe in the middle. So I'm curving it just slightly just to emphasize the curve of his body. There we go. And then we're going to do another one at the bottom. So just one little line curves round. So that is emphasizing the shape and making him look a little bit rounder. And then what we'll do, maybe a, one at the top by his eyes. And that one's curving round to reflect the curve of the top of his head. Okay, so we're going to alternate these in yellow and black. So this one is going to be black. You might want to put a little dot just to help you. So a little dot, black, yellow, dot with the black, leaving that one yellow, little dot for the black, yellow, black, yellow, and that last one's going to be black. So that will just help us get it right when we're painting it. Um, and I think the last little bit is these antennae that are going to just curve out on top of his head like that. And that's our drawing done. We're going to move on to our painting now. So let me get my brush. So for the paints, um, all I'm using, I'm using three basic colours, well, yellow and orange, and then I'm going to use a black and a white. Um, I always start off with my lightest colour first and then we build it up and get dark and that way we don't have to wash our brush too much and get all watery paint. So for the wings we're going to just get a nice white painted on them and I know we're painting white on white so it seems a little bit strange but it just brightens up the paper a little bit and it means that we can blend in a little tint of colour if we wanted to. So just painting a little bit of white on Abby first of all, on the wings. So again the same on this side. I'm going quite quickly. You obviously take your time, do this nice and carefully. So doing a little white layer first of all. Um, and then I'm going to move on to my next lightest colour which is going to be yellow. So first of all then let's do our yellow stripes. So if we remember where our dots were, they're the black, so the other ones are the yellow. So here we go. So I'm going to just first of all put a little bit of yellow. We'll do each stripe separately because what I want to do is we're going to just get a pinprick of orange and whilst our yellow paint is still wet we're going to put that tiny bit of orange on the edges of our B. Just wipe it off if you've got a little bit left on and go back into our yellow and then blend it in. And by doing this we are giving our B a little bit of form, a little bit of shape we're emphasising the roundness of his body. So we're making the edges a bit darker with our orange and then the middle bit where it's round is lighter. So we'll work down each section. So remember we leave a gap for our black and the next one. And what I'm going to do just to speed it up, I'm going to do all my yellow ones and all my orange edges at the same time. But if, it's probably best if you do them individually so you don't let your paint dry because it's really hard to blend colours when your paint is dry. So you want to be doing this when your paint's wet. 
So then I get my little bit of orange, we just dab it along the edge of each of the yellow stripes. And then we go back to our yellow, and we blend that in. So you can see it's starting to look a little bit more 3D rather than a flat B. You can leave that middle section a bit lighter as well. So a bit of yellow, blend in that orange. Okay, so it's starting to pop out a bit more. Right, once we've done our yellow, um, we're going to move on to our black. So we're going to keep this really simple and with our black, now I'm going to start doing our stripes. Now I'm going to do it slightly differently. I'm going to paint and I've got a nice thin brush so you want to paint nice and carefully. If you've got a thicker brush then you just don't press hard and just use the tip of your brush. And I'm painting down the bee's body and I'm leaving this edge quite sort of fluffy, quite broken, so it's not a really neat stripe. You can see it's a little bit wibbly wobbly, which just helps, again, emphasise the shape a little bit, just makes it look a little bit more interesting, a bit more natural. And we're going to do this on each of those black stripy sections. So working down. each of those black stripes. Again, I'm doing this as quickly as I can for you, but you can stop and start and just do this at your own pace. Take your time and do it as well as you can. So little lines on each of those. And then the last one down here. Okay, there we go. Now, the eyes, again, I'm going to paint them black, but I'm going to try and leave a little white shine if I can. If that is tricky, what you can always do is go back with a blob of white paint and add that white shine back in. So we're going to pop those in. And then I'm going to do the legs. Now, if the legs are really tricky and they're very, very narrow, you can always do this bit with a black felt tip pen or any kind of pen. So I'm just trying to be as steady as I can, not pressing hard, going really super slow and careful and just painting in these legs. And Again, try and keep those segments if you can. And each of these legs will put a little black base on. So the next, last two. Here we go. Nearly there. You have to do this nice and slowly. There we are. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to wash my brush and give it a good dry. Actually, I forgot to do these bits, didn't I? So again, super careful. There we go. And just pop your antenna in. Right, so give your brush a good wash. And then we're going to go back to our whites. And then we're going to pop just a few little white highlights just down that middle section. So you need to obviously do this when your paint is dry, otherwise it will just blend in and end up being grey. You can do the same on your yellow sections, so making that middle bit of our be really bright and 
Okay. And then if you want to make his wings stand out a little bit, you could add a tint of colour. I'm keeping my palette quite simple at the moment. You could always add like a tint of very pale blue or turquoise or green or even a bit of yellows. I'm going to just add a little bit of grey into my wings, just a little bit, just to give it a little tint of colour. Blend that back in with some white. Just makes them stand out a bit more. There we go. And you could also put a little bit of white on the legs as well if you're feeling brave. So just a little dash on each of those segments just to give it that extra level of detail. Okay. So I think we're pretty much there with the painting. Once you've done that, then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna wash my brush and I'm gonna do some lovely splats because I think they look really nice. So you need some very watery paint for this. I'm going to do my splats, I think, in yellow and orange. You could choose whatever colours you want. I think blue looks quite nice or turquoise. So I'm getting some paint on my brush and then I'm dipping it in some water and then I'm going to just flick, dip it again, flick. I don't know if you can see those, so I'll do a few in orange as well. Some nice little flicks. Obviously, my painting is vertical, so I might get a few drips, but that's fine. I quite like the drips as well. And there you go. So a few little splats, and you are done. One. Busy B. So I hope you enjoyed that and we will see you again soon. Bye for now.